Hello and welcome back to Arcadium, specifically to Tarant, with this lovely the main theme music of Arcadium, of Steamwork and Magic Obscura. We're back in Tarant to uh, show off our glorious uh, um, bunny rabbit, uh, which is actually a giant! Giant with horns and turtles each people and stuff. So we need to visit the, yes, Zoological Society. So let us go and uh, show off this uh, scary giant. Hello and welcome to the Tarantian Zoological Society. How might I help you today? Oh uh, boy. Okay. So I just barge into the office and go, Hello. Yes. I need to speak with you about the Stillwater Giant. Uh, the Stillwater Giant? What about it? Please, it's no, tell me it's not another crackpot theory. The only crackpot theory worth their, their salts are mine. And don't you forget it. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, what in the name of all the gods is that smell? It smells like bear urine. Ah, uh, that might be me. I thought it was booze, but it was apparently bear urine. I don't know, but I captured a giant here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's just laughing, you practical jokers. A blue rabbit. Uh, nice paintwork, though. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I'm all that practical or joking. Uh, it's a giant, not a rabbit. It's actually a shape changer. You can't honestly believe that, Gav! About the Stillwater Giants, can you? <laughs> Gia, Gia, Gigantopathicus uh, Arcanus, I love it! The whole thing is a hoax, boy! Oh, Hippington has, like, extensive evidence and stuff he says about the existence, but only he says that he lives in, like, a weird shack. Okay, maybe you're right here. Hippington! Yeah, he has completely, he uh, has gone completely loon, poor sod. Convinced that the giant is real. His evidence for it is all based on badly reconstructed skeletons, comprised of giant bones mixed with ape, and whoever knows who got, knows what other odds and ends. He never was too bright. He says you're real smart, though. Well, well that proves that he's insane, calling me a genius. Imagine that. If I were a genius, I'd be making some real coin instead of working here. That's a very healthfully cynical scientist. I like it. Hoax or not, I need to find a pelt of one somehow, else I'm not getting to a lock in Elven City. The only place you'll be finding something, finding something that is obviously fraudulent over, it would be over at H.T. Parnell's museum. I think they actually have slapped together the pelt of a steel or the giant on display. Okay, thank you. I'll go steal that then. And yes, we will go steal that. Oh, we didn't even get experience for that. How unfortunate. Alright, so uh, off to HD Parnells. Probably need those potions of persuasion here. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've been here, since poor old Gaal, the Museum of Weirdities. I very much like the two-headed cow uh, fallout reference here. Anyways, let's uh, pump up our persuasion and might as well throw a mind marvel on there as well. Since hopefully we will be leveling up soon anyway. Bust it all up, brings our persuasion to pretty good. Okay. Hello. Hello, my friend. May I ask you some questions? Of course. He's very friendly to us. How nice. I'd like to ask something about the creatures you've got here. Which of the fantastic creatures would you like to know more about? Uh, can you tell me about the cow with the two heads? Ah, that enigmatic... Katchua was shot in a safari in the waste of Vandercroft. 
Who can say what sorcery or forbidden scientifics were called upon to create such a beast? You might not think of it uh, by the look of it, but it was a man-eater, it was! Man-eater? Well, that sounds like a bit of a stretch. Actually, I believe I've seen two headed cows somewhere before. Not unless you have uh, been to this blighted waste of Vandegraaff, sir. I think I have been there for a little bit, so maybe. There was something about a falling out or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, what about the other creatures? What fantastic creature would you like to know about? How about the petrified dragon? Magnificent, is it not? I find it's one of my saddest exhibits. A remnant of a world gone by, a young dragon separated from its mother for all eternity. So it's never good to question this guy, he gets defensive about it. So, so many other creatures. Which of the creature would you like to know more about? How about the still water giant pelt? I want it. That is one of our most famous exhibits. It creates a sense of awe to, to, just to behold a ferocious creature of that magnitude. A holdout from Arcanum's distant past. What must it uh, have been like to see herds of those creatures hunting for their prey? I don't think herds actually hunt for prey. Herds are usually like, like prey animals. It's like packs or something that do the praying. Ah, don't get me with your fancy fancy birds. Okay. How did you actually uh, uh, get this pelt? Franklin Payne, world-renowned adventure. A contract by me, to me, of course. Had tracked the elusive creature to its lair. Only for uh, to have a shifting, uh, shifting winds betray its pre his presence. Before he could even raise his weapon, the awful beast attacked. And, oh, and then what happened? Armed only with a small dagger, Payne leapt upon the creature. Much blood was shed by man and beast, but Payne emerged victorious after impaling the creature on one of its own claws. Are you sure Payne didn't like, rip its heart out with his bare hands and stuff? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's rich. It's so rare to meet an individual true wit. A bit of a hyperbole never hurts when selling your wares to local rooms, eh? Okay, uh, what, what about selling? Uh, what if I pay that thing for you? Now, hold on a minute there, my good man. The Stillwater Giant is the first big exhibit I ever displayed. It's one of my most cherished possessions. I would have part for it for less than 200 co- of 2,000 coins. 2,000 is like a really hard price. That is the going price. The object of this rare is practically prices. 2,000 co coins is a deal. Now we could, uh, there's various ways to solve this. We do have a fate point we could use on this. But I think we can pay the 2000 gold. I think it's fine. Okay, I'll accept your terms. <laughs> Splendid! Here's the key to the Stillwater Giant display gaze. Is there anything else? No, I'll be leaving now and I'm leveling up. Cool. So we could put it in uh, Let's see. I think if we put in the vital, the revitalizer, I believe that stacks with other buffs. Meaning we could get all of our stats really high and we could actually do some, yeah, we could get more persuasion and stuff through drugs. Hmm, and more dexterity for drugs. That actually requires a little bit of a look up, so I'll be right back. Actually, let's, uh, we'll, we'll wait for it. We don't have to grab it right now. For now, let's go with grabbing the still water pelt. This clumsily stitched assemblage of moth-eaten bear pelts that is supposed to be the still water giant. 
Okay. And now there is nothing. Now we have our pelt. Um, we could go straight back to uh, Stillwater. But while we're in town, I say uh, there is another little bit. We should do some training, you know? Because there's actually still more of those sewers we uh, can explore. And I think I will do that just a bit. So we'll probably be leveled uh, further, hopefully, when we get to. Or maybe we found some cool stuff, who knows. But yeah, I'll save you the whole... I'll do a little bit of the sewer track, why not? Just a little bit. See what monsters we can face off in the dark. Uh, that is a bit of a walk here. Hmm. Let's see if we hand the pelts to Gar, would that maybe... Yes, sir. Get rid of some of this weight. No, we're still moderate. Yes, sir. Gar, would you like to hold the Stillwater Giant? Okay, it looks like I can't get it any lower. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. I'll probably end up dumping that thing, but I think we might still need it for some quests with the blue rabbit and such. Also, I identified and sold some of the magic items. The amulet was actually just, it gave magic resistance but lowered every other resistance. Uh, the ring was actually a ring of dark magic and it would do the same as the amulet except it would also give us intelligence but i thought oh that's great i love intelligence as a technologist but uh, when you're high technological thing you actually do not get any of the uh, bonuses so that was unfortunate uh we put everyone on rest here and let's go sewer diving so we tell to wait i tell to wait sure. I'll do it right away. Of course, sir. Of course, sir. Yes. It is done. Now, I think we already explored the upper uh, areas of this place. Some nice music here, actually. But this is... Uh, Quite a labyrinth of uh, tunnels and such, actually, and they're all full with uh, monsters to kill. Did we actually kill? Ah, yeah. So there is the snake little thingies. Do we actually kill the bandits yet that are in here? I think we did. No, we didn't! Let's go kill the bandits! I think we should be able to do that, but we might want some boosters here. So we are gonna pump up ourselves with more drugs. I also wonder if we should put a mind uh, an energizer here. Oh well, let's actually save those for making those uh, super revitalizer uber potions. Right! This actually can be a tough fight if you don't play it right. Why does a man with a rifle run up to me? I have no clue. But uh, he's re regretting his mistakes. Ah, oh, he does have a shotgun. You want to be up close with that. Okay, let's draw some more out. There comes the wizard. Ah, oh, now we only get two hits because we're in combat. So yes, big difference. I did this at lower levels. That was a really hard fight. So the Elven Bandit has magic robes. Very nice. 
very blue. We can probably hand these over to uh, Gar right after we kill these fellows. Let's first take care of the ogre. He hits hard! Yeah, we're gonna have to look for our fatigue. That is actually sort of uh, dangerous, though. Always do some fatigue uh, uh, improvers, actually. There we go. Quick pick me up in battle. Oh dear, this guy can dodge. This guy can dodge very well. Not good enough forever. Ha! And that is a fair bunch of uh, pretty decent loot we get out of these fellas. Not that much experience though, that, that looks disappointing. The bar barely moved. Yeah, we're gonna have to hand those things to a party to empty our inventory for further looting of this place. Uh, take the quality axe. And then it's large guard letters. Hmm. We can pick those up later, I guess. Let's have a quick look at what these chests still hold. Nothing! Nothing! And more nothing. That is very disappointing. Apparently these have not been very successful thieves. Can we actually sleep here? It would be very nice if you could actually like take over these places. Ah, pure ore. Oh well, that's lovely, I guess. Thonk, thonk, and yeah, okay. We'll collect the rest later. For now, I guess I'll just uh, hand this over to uh, our party members, and then when we're back, we'll uh, yeah, have explored this and probably gotten some experience points, some more experience points from killing uh, slitherers and uh, the like. So, back in a little while. Alright, so we've explored a fair bit of this uh, little sewer dungeon that we're at. Uh, actually, we found... How can I help you? Um, let's see. Yes, uh, in one of the chests we found a unidentified magic... Probably magic shield and an unidentified sword that... Uh, for some reason, Magnus feels like he is going to just one-hand that motherfucker. He's like, oh yeah, I got this. No, you don't have this, Magnus. You're not even very magical. Why are you doing this, you madman? Oh well. So yes, there is this stairs up that we uh, oh, don't know where it goes. So ah, this looks like to be the boil. This is a little secret way up into the boil. We should explore the boil sometimes later, because uh, there is some good stuff to be held here. But uh, it's not the level up that I was looking for. This isn't the experience point you're looking for. I'm not that ready to go cleanse, clean out the boil like some kind of hard-boiled action hero detective. Hello, I'm Ogre, and I'm here to uh, kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I don't think I got any gum, so can I chew on your ass? Wait, I think I got something wrong there. So yes, we have to find another group of random monsters to uh, kill off and get that last bit of experience point for the party. Because yes, I cleared out most of this on my own, but uh, you know, when you do it in a party, you get leveled up together. When we all come together, we all come to do... Let's see, have we gone up this way yet? 
think we have. Yeah, we have explored this. Where does this ladder go, though? I'm curious. These are all empty, then. Yeah, we already looted that hole. Where does this go? Okay, into a minefield, apparently, but... Ah, this is the water, water treatment plant and the power services station, so... I honestly have no, no, no clue why one would need to uh, go and uh, sneak into there. I don't think there's any quests of that still in the game. But uh, yes, I guess that's the way you do it. Okay, let's go down this way, because we explored the upper way. This way might lead us to some more treasure. Or monsters, at least. I see movement. I saw movement. There we go, rats. Very good. Now you do have to watch out with those pewter drones. They actually are capable of doing the poison damage, and that is actually quite annoying. Interesting. Interesting hatch. Yep. These are some more powerful zombies, I think. Yeah. Let laugh! Glorious! Excellent, so that leveled us up, putting us uh, with two points. Uh, I think with that we definitely take like one point into the uh, final level therapeutics. The other point we can save for another level up if we can. So back to learn it schematics. Let's go to the penultimate of drugs the ultimate drug yes hello we can go farther thank you the revitalizer scientists have happened upon the most amazing technological discovery of our time the revitalizer a mixture of mind marvel and energizer the revitalizer will allow you to perform miracles of mind and body become an unstoppable physical force while mentally moving mountains Astonishing! Let's make one of these things. Yes, mixing up your drugs. That's uh, pure scientific mastery, that is. Alright. Uh, so our stats right now are 90, 90, 90, 30. Yep, pretty good. What happens if we take the revitalizer? Yep, that stacks! Now we're at 15 dexterity, that means we could take the final... No, we can't. Okay, then. Cannot take the final level, that's odd. We cannot take the final level. Oh, well! I guess we'll need some more training with that. We could take, I believe... Yes, next level persuasion, let's do that. Now we're nearly at mastery level. Lovely. Alright, so next time uh, we'll explore more of this creepy dungeon. It's in here, actually. Ooh, the glycerine. That's nice. And see, uh, yes, if we return to Stillwater, if we can uh, get that thing. the uh, Actually, the location of Kintara. So, join me next time after lots of dungeon running and stuff uh, off screen. Till then, bye bye.